Welcome everybody uh, to my new uh, system. This is an advanced farming system. Um, in this video I'm going to show you the basics of it, the, the ins and outs, uh, how it works, uh, what is included, what isn't included. Um, so let's start with the controls. Um, uh, this plot I've set up so we can actually test something. Uh, if you look at the lower left corner, you see a uh, potato is currently selected. When I scroll with my mouse, uh, I'm able to uh, select other uh, crops. Uh, for instance, uh, a bell pepper bush. Um, I can place it with uh, uh, the press in the six. And it does a trace, and in the trace it tries to find uh, a growing plot. And if uh, this mesh has a tag growing plot, it actually uh, is able to place it. So when we press it here, it should not work. Um, as you can see, there's multiple stats. Uh, first, it comes over the health. We can uh, actually damage it. And uh, the second one is the water. The third one is the fertilizer. Uh, the fourth one, uh, the progress is the growth of the of the plant, uh, and the last one is the decay. And so we are able to add water to this, and as soon as we do that, you can see it will start to grow. Um, and we can also add fertilizer to this, uh, and when we are adding fertilizer, uh, the growth will uh, be faster than uh, than only with the uh, the water and also the crop quality uh, will be ultimately calculated. Um, so let's go through uh, all these basics and see uh, uh, see uh, what's included in the system. Well, here we already hear the sprinkler, and as you can see, uh, these grapes and, uh, and this corn plant is actually being watered at the moment. Um, you also see the crop growing. Um, we also able to turn off the sprinkler and then you can see both of them uh, do not get any water anymore. And we can also start it again. Here we have uh, another crop and this one is out of the vicinity of the sprinkler. So you see it actually isn't watered. So this one we are able to water manually. Um, here we have the section for the requirements. Um, I have an amazing set of different requirements for the crops to grow. I uh, even thought of uh, sci-fi settings like uh, uh, required oxygen to grow, uh, but also obviously UV. Um, and the UV is actually a trace that goes up. And in this case, you see the, uh, the icon of the cloud. So. The purple grapes are currently not getting any uh, 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 UV, uh, and therefore you see it's also decaying while it actually does have water. This cabbage is fully grown. Why? Because uh, this one gets uh, the UV from this UV lamp here. And here we have the third one. Uh, this one has fertilizer, uh, but you see it isn't growing. That's because we have set water as a minimum requirement uh, to grow so in this case we add water and it will grow crops obviously are season based um, in this case you see the uh, this small border and in this border i've set it to uh, to the winter or uh, i think or autumn and in this case you see the pumpkin is able to grow in the autumn so you see the, the icon of the sun, and here you see uh, uh, the strawberry, and the strawberry is not able to grow in this season. So this one is slowly decaying like this cauliflower already did. This one is 100% decayed, and therefore it's a dead plant. Um, I've also added sickness. Uh, you can see a sick plant by the icon. I also uh, made placeholders for particle effects, etc. So it's easy to add them. Um, for testing purposes, I've made it so that by pressing 
the five, uh, I'm able to cure it. And I just cured this potato. I just cured this corn and this tomato plant. And you can see at the moment we've cured it, it starts to grow. Um, everything is data table driven, so uh, it's quite easy to set up. Uh, I've also included an Excel file where you're able to change all the settings of the plant uh, 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 quite easily, so uh, it will uh, be easy to change. Um, I think it's good to mention that my farming system, um, I've tried it to uh, make it so that it grows in different stages. So each plant is able to uh, 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 to grow and when it gets to a certain percentage, it will actually show a different static mesh. Um, so here you see uh, the small plant, uh, a medium plant, a small, somewhat larger and the plant ready for harvest. Um, I have divided up the plants into, I think, eight plant types, uh, which you can reuse for different crops. For instance, here I have uh, the, the bushes. Here I have the, I call this dense uh, leafed hats for instance, for cauliflowers, for cabbages. Uh, then I have uh, plants for uh, which can be attached to the bottom for underground plants like potatoes, uh, maybe even carrots, beets, etc. Um, I have also included a fine uh, uh, type for uh, pumpkins and watermelons. Um, this one is uh, a flowering hat. These are for instance for broccolis. Uh, uh, choice uh, uh, pineapples. I've also included a steak uh, for plants like beans, grapes, uh, etc. This one is a, uh, uh, a large plant, for instance, for corn, for sunflowers, and at last, I have added the tree for instance for fruits like oranges, apples, etc. Um, I have options included uh, to regrow. Here we have a pumpkin, and at the moment we harvest this pumpkin, it will reset to the first stage. Uh, the strawberry, uh, I've made it so that it's only the strawberry that is able to, uh, to regrow. So you see the complete bush is still standing uh, and it slowly uh, 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 regrows the new strawberry. Um, I've also added uh, sef uh, separate timers, requirements uh, for the all regrowing stages. For instance, you see that the strawberry is growing way more faster uh, uh, than, than the wall plant does. And here it is, here the strawberries are there again. Um, and this is a potato, uh, and this one is already dead. But if uh, we could harvest this one, uh, this one does not regrow, so this one would just be uh, gone. Um, crop quality, yes, um, uh, uh, when we are uh, having, uh, uh, oh here. This, this is grapes. When we are uh, harvesting the grape, it will determine and calculate based upon uh, how well the growth was in terms of uh, uh, the, the growth time, but also did we add uh, a product like fertilizer. And based on that, it actually determines the, the crop quality. Um, and I think uh, that's about it. Um, you can scale this quite easily. Everything is network replicated. Um, um, uh, everything is uh, server driven, actually. Uh, uh, and just so you can scale this uh, quite easily. So yeah, I, I hope you like this. Uh, I think um, it was fun to, to make the system. Um, 
uh, and I hope you enjoy, uh, enjoy it too. So thank you very much and have a very nice day.